All right, we're going to try to have a Bible study. Um, move some of the stuff out of the way. All right, now, we got how to hate the devil, who made God, what God can not do, Sabbath, which day, calling God, is God a real person? Are you of God? And then, you now I know there's more in here than just that. Um, so that should have a... Well, that's about seven types of angels. Back here, I bet you, where's my indexes? Alright. Uh, Bible, bad influence, carnal mind. Can the majority be wrong, Sabbath? Sabbath, which day? How to hate the devil... Angel 911, who made God? Uh, we can believe in God. I plan for Jesus' life. Calling God, if you love me, is God a real person? God's attitude, God's spirit, what God can not do. As God fair, are you a God? Is God plan eternal? Prophecy comes alive. Wh which one? Which one you want? Mm, what God can't do. What God can't do. Alright, we'll stick to that one. I think one book should be enough. These are all the old stuff I used to do years ago. Alright, now I've got to here and find it. Well, okay, what God can and can what God cannot do. All right, we're gonna be flipping through them. Uh, if you don't want to use that table, let her use it. You can put the Bible on it, and that way make it easy to get. Watch out for the cat. You all know your Bible. You know, like Genesis, Exodus, mm -hmm. Leviticus. That helps a lot. It does. All right, we're going to go to <coughs> Hebrews first. We want Hebrews 6. Which one? Hebrews 6. 17 through 19. Hebrews will be right after Titus. It's right before. Right yeah. after, right, Timothy. You know, right, right after filming. I think it's either Timothy. No, it ain't. You got Titus and um, filming. Oh, yeah, here's Titus, yeah. They're very short. I haven't been able to look at the Bible in a while. Yeah, I don't know something on You said 6 what? The old chapter? No, we want 17 through 19. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I need those right quick. Yeah, I found it. It's in the New Testament. There's Timothy. Mm, it should be not far after Second Timothy. Filming? No, not right. far after Filming. They're, they're very, those two chapters or books are very short. Yeah. Titus and Filming is. Yeah, they're only one page. Yeah. If that. <laughs> Romans, well, Titus Acts. is two. Hebrews, what? Six. Or seventeen. Six, seventeen. <laughs> You got it? Yeah. All right. Now, the question is, can God lie? So, we want Hebrews 6, 17 through 19. All right, who wants to read first? I will. Okay. Look, 17? Yeah. Do 19. Okay. We're in God, willing more abundantly to show him to the higher of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the oath set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enter into it that with them be veiled. So basically what he's saying is that God cannot lie. So anything God has said at any time 
Yeah. It's still it's still as true today as it was when he said it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he's not able to lie. And we got uh, two little dollies right here on 19, and it should be 20. So, okay. uh, if you want to read it, you Whether can. Whether the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus made a high priest forever after the order of Mechizedek. Okay. Mechizedek, yeah. Uh, I, did, I read that, but I didn't see no reason to read yeah. it in. So, yeah. to it. All right. Uh, the next one is Second Timothy. And it should be just a couple books over. But. Yeah. So, you watch that Hold on a second, let me get the second Timothy uh, 2. Second Timothy 2. We've got two little dotties up here, so we're going to have to go 12. Go 210? Uh, yeah, where you see the little dotties would be yeah. 11. I can't believe I didn't do this. 11 through 12. Wasn't it? Must be 13. Yeah, and 13. I can't wish I could see. Okay, we've got two little dotties there. We've got two little dotties there. So you want to go all the way down to 13? Yeah. 11 through 13. Alright, who wants to read it now? I'll read. Okay. It is a faithful saying for if we be dead with him we shall also live with him if we suffer we shall also reign with him if we deny him he also will deny us if we believe not yet he abideth faithful he cannot deny himself and i think i forgot to read the uh the question will he deny himself so in other words, no. no he won't. All right, I'm going to read the question first and then tell you where to go to. Does God respect a person? And now we need to go to Romans. Romans is right after the... After Acts, I believe. Yeah. Romans well, was thinking too. Yep. It's been a while since I've been in it. Uh, well... Uh, two. two. Romans. Two, eleven. Two. Look at here, we got all kinds of dotties and stuff that needs to go up. Right here, we'll start with five. I can't believe I've done this. Good God, it's been years since I've opened these books. Five. Okay, we got the dotty at 11. 5 through 11. I would say the next one's going to be the same way. Uh, number 2, verse 5, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But after they hardness and impatient. impatient heart treasures up unto thyself rapid. Wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render, render to every man according to his deeds, to them who by patient continuance in well doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. But unto them that are contentious. contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish. anguish, anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew. First and also of the gentle gentile. gentile worketh good to the Jew first. My bad. <laughs> For there is no respect to of persons with God. You forgot ten. Yeah. Did I really? Yeah. Yeah. My bad. It'll be okay. We're not gonna die over it. <clears throat> All right. It just tells me that it worketh good toward those that's 
does but glory good. and honor and work peace to every man that worketh good yeah. to the Jew first and also to the Jew for there is no respect of the persons of God alright Colossians do you see do you do things on your own no Colossians 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 and three. And let's see how bad I did on this one. See if I need to go up or down. I go by the little dotties because it give you a whole lot more information. Mm -hmm. And I'll just one verse. And this, I did this whenever they only gave you one verse. You know, mm -hmm. you got to go by one verse. You can't, no, that's not the way you should read the Bible. You should read the Bible in a whole. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you got a period and then you got three or four verses that has dotties or commas or anything like that mm -hmm. on it, you read from that last dot to the next dot. You learn more information, you get what you need to know. Mm -hmm. All right, 3 and 25. Let's see if we have any dotties here. Nope, we only have one verse. So Colossians, let me put a little uh, thing there. Colossians 3.25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he had done, and there is no respect of person. So if you want to do things on your own, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have any respect for you. If you do what he wants, and he has all the respect for you. Alrighty. If you are his, is he pleased? First Peter. Mm -hmm. He already knows that one. Yes, he's pleased. <laughs> Seven to twenty. Hebrews. Peter. Second. What chapter? Second Peter, first Peter. Yeah, I mean, second Peter. The yeah. second Peter? Yeah, I went to the first one myself. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> second Peter what? Second Peter 1. Let's see. Uh, Peter 1. Second Peter 1. <laughs> Alright, and 17. Okay, there's a little dot in there, so it's only one verse. Let me erase that. About screwed up on that one. Alright. You want to read it, Rick? Well, go it says, uh, For he received from God the Father honor and glory. When there come such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Now, I did. y'all did get the question, didn't you? Is God pleased with... Mm -hmm. He's pleased with the, the Father, uh, with Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright. Will God call on you, Romans... Three. I'll tell you Revelations. This, I figured this right here would probably be the easiest way to to do it. I don't know if y'all want to do a different way next time. We will. I mean, this is the first time, so you know. Right. We want to try to accommodate what you will learn. You said Romans three. Yeah. What do you think you're going to do there? Alright, so we want to start with 21. Okay. And this right here. 25 doesn't. 26. The 26. So it goes from 21 to 26? Mm hmm. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, and to all and upon all them that believe, believe for there is no difference. <laughs> the cat just took over my Bible. Go ahead. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be 
a situation. Restoration through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sin that are passed through the forbearance of God to declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. All right, did, did you get it? The you know, uh, uh, will God call on you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, come on, cat. Little man. If you belong to him, he will call on you. Yes, he will. And, and we have gotten... Man, we're good. We get it. But come on, cat. Okay? I can't do this. Come on. Come on, little man. No, you got to quit. I uh, know you're wanting to love on mommy over there. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take you outside for right now. <laughs> He's a mama's boy, ain't he? Yeah. Alright, next one is John. Rick won't have no problem finding John. And John 3. Next one is John 3. Are you free to become his? Is that John 3? Yeah. No, we're going to have to go over there for that one. Everybody should know this one. I got it. You want me to read or? Yeah, you can read if you want to. And then I'll read it next. 16 through. 16, uh, no, 3, 16. Chapter 3, verse 16. But read that whole thing, right? No, just, no, just, just 16. Just no, number 16. Verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that so whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So are you free to become his? Yes, we are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because God loved you enough for him to go to the cross mm -hmm. and give up his self. For, for, I mean, he gave it up for everybody. Yep. The Jews, the Greeks, the Gentiles, the Samaritans, all of them. Everybody. Yep. All right. How are we saved? Ephesians 2. I, I hope y'all are... If, if y'all like this and all, we like, we like doing Bible study. Well, I don't know if you like the, my method or not. Hey, it works. Well, as long as you get something out of it. Then, mm hmm then Now, now there's a, that one. Now we're Ephesians. You said it's after Galatians? Yeah. Gotta find Galatians. It's in the New Testament. New Testament? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. There's Galatians, Ephesians. And then the question is How are we saved? Okay, Ephesians 2. And 4 through 9. Alright, there's Galatians. What's your right? There you go up here. Eve Ephesians what? Uh, 2. 2? Yeah, 4 through 9. Yeah. Okay, we ready? Mm hmm. Alright. Ephesians 4 through 9. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, because even when we were dead in <coughs> sins, had quickened us together with Christ, by grace are you saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Jesus Christ. Or Christ Jesus, um, that in the age to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through G uh, Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Make sense? Mm-hmm. 
Brick, you got anything to add so far? No, I got it going on. <laughs> I got it going. All right, we're going to go back. My brain ain't working too well. Right now. Huh? I said, my brain ain't working too well. All right, we want to go back to Hebrews. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done this. I've been in these. I was like, I guess this right here would probably be the best way to go. Thessalonians. Timothy. Hebrew what? Hang on, let me find my Hebrews first. That's Ephesians. Timothy. Hebrews uh, 11. And 6. Hebrews. 11. All right. The question is, do we have to yeah, have so faith? The question is, do we have to have faith? Okay. That's Hebrews 11 and 6. 6 through the 6. The 6. The 6. Mm -hmm. But without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them and that diligently diligently seek him. Yeah. So yeah, you got yeah. to have faith. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can't say, Yeah, I got faith but you don't have faith within your heart. Yep. Uh, you can't it won't he won't do that. All right, we want to go James. And the uh, question is, will he gives, give us wisdom? I want to go to Revelation all along. <laughs> this is a big, thick book. Mm. It's got a, a concordance or something behind James it. James is right after Hebrews, baby. I went past it. I, I wonder why I did that. So, uh, James what? Uh, James 1. Okay, I gotta find one. I've been lost it again. <laughs> I'm serious. I went all the way to uh, Revelation. And I didn't want to go all the way to Revelation, and I did. Alright, 1. And I got 5 through 8. But this one right here, number 4, has no dot under it, neither does that one. Oh, okay, from two, we write it down as we go. From two, all right, now where's eight at? So here's eight, we have a period, so it was two through eight. All right, will he give us wisdom? Number two, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into driver's temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work is patience. You don't want to ask for patience. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to men liberty and unbrighteth. And brighteth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavers is like a wave of the sea driving in the wind and tosses. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. I read that uh, seven. A little bit, uh, and I didn't have to. <laughs> That's all right. That wasn't supposed to go down to eight. All right. Number eight. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. I can agree to that. Amen to that. All right. Well, we're on the second page. Uh, I think this one here is the last page. Have we learned anything? Yes. I was showing her the uh, part where it says adultery and kill. Where's kill. And James, uh, what? One what? No, that's two. Two. Uh, two and eleven. Two and eleven. 
For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. And now if thou committest no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become transgressors of the law. In other words, if you say, I'm not an adulterer, but don't you go out and kill, you still went against God's law, no matter what. If you go out and steal, you go against. You can't go against God's law. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna tell you. They they say, oh, uh, God's law was hung on the cross. No, mm -mm. God's law is still active today. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. How can they say that God's law is is gone? Exactly. It's the same. If you kill, it's against God. Mm -hmm. If you steal, it's against God. Mm -hmm. And if you commit adultery. Now, people people think adultery is if you go out on your wife or you go out on your husband, that that's adultery. Believe it or not, there's more to that adultery than just that. If you decide you, oh, uh, I'm a Christian, but I'm going to do Halloween, and I'm going to do Christmas, and I'm going to do, that is adultery against God, against the Creator. You're doing adultery right there. Yeah, that's why he said, if you're a double-minded man, you're double-minded in all things. You have to stay focused on what God wants and not what you want or what this world wants. You get into this world and all, and you do the things of this world, and uh, he's going to turn, turn you away. He's going to say, no, mm, mm Yeah. So that's why me and Rick, we don't do Halloween, don't do Thanksgiving, Christmas, or anything. Christmas is a well, pain. We might eat a meal on Thanksgiving, but we don't do a big one. No, we don't do a and, Yeah. You know, make it a holiday. Yeah, no. We might cook a turkey. Yeah, well, because, because we get turkey for free. <laughs> <laughs> with that same verse, uh, do not kill, abortion is murder. Exactly. Well, yeah, you, they'll, they'll yeah. argue that one. <laughs> yeah. you got preachers now telling people it's okay to have abortion. Yeah, uh-uh. That uh -uh. is true. Uh -uh. Now, the ones that are... Now, I know my cousin, he is a pastor, and he does not believe in that. He don't so believe he in has abortion? He's a hard time preaching against it if he's a 503C. If your church is a 503C, what the 503C is is that makes you exempt from taxes, and the government tells you what you can and cannot preach on. They will not let you preach on abortion. They will not let you preach on sin. They won't gay. let you preach on gay, against gay. Mm -hmm. they, won't, they, they won't let you. If, they, if you do, then they'll take your tax exemption away and start making you pay taxes on the money. Right. Any donations that you have. Mm -hmm. right. What's well, also like with nowadays, now, this is just me. I've always heard preaching from a male, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what I grew up to. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Anybody can study the Bible. Yeah. Anybody really can.